Have you ever considered that the lack of sunlight might be making you sick? It's a thought that isn't often entertained, but it holds a significant amount of truth. As our lives become increasingly indoor-oriented, we're unknowingly setting ourselves up for a silent health crisis. It's a crisis that doesn't make headlines, but it's silently creeping into our lives. This crisis is vitamin D deficiency, often referred to as the silent epidemic. You see, our bodies require vitamin D, a nutrient that is predominantly produced when our skin is exposed to sunlight. On a sunny day, just a few minutes of sun on our skin can set off a chain reaction, leading to the production of this vital nutrient. But as our lifestyles change, as we spend more and more time indoors, we're getting less of this essential sunlight and consequently less vitamin D. Think about it. We wake up, drive to work, spend the day in an office, drive home and then settle down for the evening, rarely stepping outside. Even when we do venture outdoors, we're often covered up or slathered in sunscreen, both of which limit the amount of vitamin D our bodies can produce. And it's not just adults. Children, who once played outside for hours on end, are now more likely to be found indoors, glued to a screen. The result? A widespread deficiency in vitamin D, a nutrient that is crucial for our health and well-being. This silent epidemic is more common than you might think. It's estimated that 1 billion people worldwide are deficient in vitamin D. That's a staggering number when you consider the vital role this nutrient plays in our bodies. Now that we've touched on the silent epidemic, you might be wondering what exactly is vitamin D and why is it so crucial? Well, stick around because we're about to dive into the world of the sunshine vitamin, unmasking its importance and shedding light on how you can ensure you're getting enough of it. Vitamin D, often referred to as the sunshine vitamin, is more than just a vitamin. It's a vital nutrient that plays a major role in countless bodily functions, and today we're going to delve into what makes it so essential. Vitamin D is unique because our bodies can produce it when our skin is exposed to sunlight, specifically ultraviolet B rays. This isn't the case with most vitamins, which we typically get from the foods we eat. Based on the way it's formed, there are two primary types of vitamin D vitamin D2, which we get from plant sources, and vitamin D3, which is produced in our skin and can also be obtained from certain animal sources. The sunshine vitamin holds a lot of responsibility in our bodies even though it's a tiny part of our daily nutrient intake. One of the key roles it plays is in bone health. Vitamin D aids in the absorption of calcium and phosphorus, two minerals that are vital for building and maintaining strong healthy bones. Without enough vitamin D, our bodies can't absorb these minerals properly, which can lead to weak or brittle bones. But the benefits of vitamin D extend beyond just our bones. It also plays a critical role in our immune system function. Vitamin D helps to regulate and strengthen our immune response, making us more resilient against infections and diseases. In fact, research has shown that people with adequate levels of vitamin D are less likely to fall ill. And let's not forget about mood regulation. There's a reason we tend to feel happier when the sun is shining. Vitamin D can boost our mood and ward off feelings of depression. It's believed to play a role in the production of serotonin, a hormone that contributes to our feelings of well-being and happiness. Now you might be thinking, if vitamin D is so important, what happens when we don't get enough? Vitamin D deficiency is more common than you might think. Despite its prevalence, it often goes undetected due to its subtle and sometimes non-existent symptoms. This deficiency, known as the silent epidemic, can lead to several health issues if not addressed in time. One of the most common warning signs of vitamin D deficiency is persistent fatigue. You might find yourself feeling constantly tired, even after a good night's sleep. This isn't your average tiredness from a busy day or a late night. It's a deep, unshakable exhaustion that doesn't seem to lift, no matter how much rest you get. Another symptom that often goes unnoticed is bone pain. This might present itself as a dull ache in your bones that you can't quite shake. It's easy to dismiss this as a sign of aging or overexertion, but it could be a sign that your body is lacking in vitamin D. Muscle weakness is another warning sign. If you've noticed that your muscles feel weaker or more tender than usual, this might be due to a vitamin D deficiency. This weakness might make everyday tasks more difficult and could even affect your balance and coordination. Mood changes, particularly feelings of depression or anxiety, can also be a symptom of vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D plays a crucial role in mood regulation, and a deficiency can result in mood swings or feelings of depression. Frequent illness or infections can be another sign. Vitamin D plays a key role in supporting your immune system. If you find yourself getting sick more often than usual, this could be a sign that your body's defenses are not as strong as they should be. 
The tricky part is that many people with vitamin D deficiency experience no symptoms at all. It's a silent but potentially harmful condition that can sneak up on you without any warning. So, how can you determine if you're deficient in vitamin D? Stay tuned as we delve into the process of diagnosing vitamin D deficiency in the next scene. Diagnosing vitamin D deficiency isn't as simple as looking for symptoms. It's a condition that often lurks unseen, hidden behind vague signs like fatigue, aching muscles, or a general sense of not feeling quite right. It's often only when these symptoms persist, despite all efforts to address them, that we start to suspect something more might be going on. Now, if you suspect a vitamin D deficiency, the first port of call is usually a blood test. Your doctor will order a test called a 25-hydroxyvitamin D test, which is currently the most accurate way to measure how much vitamin D is in your body. The results of this test can help your doctor decide if you need to take a supplement or if you should make changes to your diet or lifestyle. But it's important to remember that some people are at a higher risk of vitamin D deficiency than others. Older adults, for instance, are more susceptible because as we age, our skin doesn't produce vitamin D as efficiently, and our kidneys aren't as good at converting it into the form our bodies need. People with darker skin are also at higher risk because the higher amounts of melanin in their skin reduces the skin's ability to produce vitamin D from sunlight. This is also why people living in northern latitudes, where the sun's rays are weaker, are more prone to deficiency. And then there's lifestyle. An indoor lifestyle, whether by choice or circumstance, can also put you at risk. If you're not getting enough sun, you're not getting enough vitamin D. So, diagnosing vitamin D deficiency starts with understanding your risk factors, listening to your body, and seeking medical advice if you suspect a deficiency. It's not just about symptoms but understanding the bigger picture of your health. Now that we know how to diagnose a vitamin D deficiency, what can we do about it? In our next scene, we'll delve into how you can combat this silent epidemic and ensure your body gets the vitamin D it needs. So stay with us. Combating vitamin D deficiency is easier than you might think. Let's explore some of the most effective strategies to ensure your body gets enough of this vital nutrient. Firstly, let's talk about the most natural source of vitamin D, sunlight. When your skin is exposed to the sun, it produces vitamin D. So, making a conscious effort to spend time outdoors can be a simple and effective way to boost your levels. Just be sure to protect your skin if you're out in the sun for extended periods as overexposure can lead to other health issues. Next, we have dietary sources of vitamin D. Certain foods are naturally rich in this nutrient. Fatty fish like salmon and mackerel, as well as fish liver oils, are among the best sources. You can also find smaller amounts in beef liver, cheese, and egg yolks. In many countries, foods like milk, orange juice, and cereals are fortified with vitamin D, making them another great option to add to your diet. However, it can be difficult to get enough vitamin D from sunlight and food alone. This is where supplements come into play. They can be an effective way to ensure you're getting enough of this essential vitamin, especially during the winter months when sunlight is scarce. Vitamin D supplements are widely available and come in various forms including capsules, tablets, and liquid drops. Though it's important to remember that while supplements can be beneficial, they're not without risks. High doses can cause harmful side effects, and not everyone needs the same amount. That's why it's crucial to consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new supplement regimen. They can help determine the right dosage for you based on your individual needs and health status. To sum it all up, Combating vitamin D deficiency involves a combination of sunlight exposure, a balanced diet, and potentially supplements under professional guidance. Remember, sunlight is your best friend when it comes to vitamin D. So step outside, soak up some rays, and give your body the sunshine vitamin it needs. As we draw to a close, it's clear that vitamin D, often called the sunshine vitamin, plays a crucial role in our overall health and well-being. From regulating mood to supporting immune function, this nutrient is truly a silent hero. Remember the key to combating vitamin D deficiency lies in the perfect blend of sun exposure, a balanced diet rich in vitamin D, and potentially the use of supplements under professional guidance. So step outside, bask in the sunshine and give your body the nourishment it needs. And of course, keep in mind that every individual is unique. What works for one person might not work for another. Therefore, Always consult with a healthcare provider before making any major changes to your diet or supplement regimen. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of vitamin D. Don't forget to subscribe to Bodyology Central for more health and wellness tips.
We're here to help you understand your body better and together we can strive for optimal health and happiness. Until next time, embrace the sunshine, embrace health.